Merry Christmas, ladies. Merry Christmas, Mr. Boomle. Right, so, hey guys, what's going on? My name is Alex, and hey, you guys have had an awesome day. Or if you're watching this in the morning, hope you have an awesome day. However, yes, welcome to another video. Now, my room is an absolute tip. There's Domino's, Ben and Jerry's, chocolate everywhere. Pretty much, this is the aftermath of every Sunday when we finish streaming. And the thing... And the thing is, you know, like lots of other YouTubers, when they live stream on Twitch, they put a video out on YouTube, and they're like, guys, I'm live streaming on Twitch, come over and watch. I don't like to do that, because I just think that's annoying, and I don't want to annoy you guys. So I'm going to take the opportunity right now just to tell you guys that every Sunday, I live stream on, on twitch.tv forward slash MrMarsBar. It's right there and in the description. So go over there and, and make a Twitch account and follow me, because I know a lot of you like games and stuff, and that's what I stream. So yeah, hopefully now you guys are all aware and you can all watch my streams. They're usually on Sundays, sometimes on other days and stuff. And also, I've been getting a lot of questions about... Literally, my, my phone never stops going off. I've been getting a lot of questions since I mentioned in one of my other vlogs about the 4G Wi-Fi and how I was going to stream off of 4G. So I'm going to show you guys the setup. So over here by the window, I've got an outdoor antenna. Now I'll link all of this stuff in the description if you guys want to do it too. Now as you can see, my house is surrounded by trees, right? So this outdoor antenna amplifies the signal. It goes down here, through the window, into this little ting here, which should pick up a 4G signal on EE. It's picking up three bars. Without that antenna, it doesn't get 4G at all. So I'm really lucky to get it. And I know you're thinking, Alex, what are the speeds like? We don't care what the setup is, we just want to know your speeds. Well, these are the speeds. There you go. So. This is how I live stream at my house because I don't get good internet here. So, POA for today. Thought I'd just tell you guys before before we start the vlog. Well, I might as well tell you guys what I'm doing today. Literally, I'm going to travel to Nottingham, go to my mum's flat, see my mum a bit, and I'll show you guys around my mum's flat. And then I bought her a new computer, and I'm going to install that because her old computer broke. So I've got a new computer. I've upgraded it a bit for her, so it's going to be rapid uh, and last a long time. Need to go and install that, and I need to clean up this room because there's dominoes and just crap everywhere. <laughs> It's just not looking good. It boots into Windows and then just shuts off. And it's got those various like CPU overheat and I need to try and get the stuff off the hard drive. So let's see if I can do this. Who's that handsome guy up there? So apparently this computer was getting overheat warnings where the CPU was overheating. And I think I've think I've kind of figured figured out figured out why. Yeah, there's there's just a little bit of dust in there, just a tiny bit. Let's try and let's try and get it out. Can you see the gaps like in between here? There should be gaps in between. You can see the gaps underneath there, look. That should be the same, those gaps there should be the same on the top, but all you can see is dust. So there we go, I've attempted to sort of clean it out, and now you can see the gaps between between the actual fins in the CPU uh, air cooler, which is what it's meant to look like. What it looked like before was just absolutely mad, so no wonder it was getting sort of uh, CPU overheating warnings. And uh, I don't think there's anything we can really salvage from this, maybe the, maybe the power supply to use it in like a later build, I'm not sure. I think it's got DDR2 RAM, some... Uh, some old flaky graphics card that kept failing. It's like 10 years old this thing, it's crazy. Right, so I've only ever done this once before and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it again. I absolutely hate spiders and I'm sure like a lot of other people do as well. But I'm gonna attempt to hold World Wide Web. Oh my god! Oh my god, okay. Holy shit. Oh my god, they fall off. It's absolutely crazy. The detail though, it's just, it, it's all about like the detail on it, it's crazy. Oh my god, it's so weird. So I've been having people begging me on Twitter to answer some of the Q&A questions from the hashtag AskMars. And if you want to ask me anything on Twitter, you can do, just tweet me at MarsBarGaming with the hashtag AskMars and you can get your questions in and I'll try and answer as many as I can right now quickly. Are you going to be in the video as well, Flues? Is that what, what you're doing? Do you want to be? Do you want to answer some questions as well? So it's Tom Jones says, did you ever get picked on for having a YouTube channel at any point in your life? Uh, and if so, what did you do to get through it? Well, the funniest thing was, yeah, I did get picked on in school for having a YouTube channel. But the funniest thing was about that, the people that picked on me ended up making channels themselves and getting absolutely nowhere with it. So who came out on top in that situation? Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, dude, but Abhay. Bodhu says, hashtag AskMars, hey Alex, I want to buy a good camera to take pictures. 
Can you suggest me one? I've done a whole video on my tech channel, link in the description, about cool cameras to buy for YouTube, but they're also great picture cameras as well. So go over and watch the video on my tech channel, dude, and hopefully your question will be answered on there. Oh, this guy's a paedophile, mum. Honestly, I've got a paedophile following me. He's about 40 and he's so weird. Alex, or at underscore Riot Mayhem, says, Ask Mars, at Mars by Gaming, got any life tips? So, one of my favourite ever life sort of quotes, if you like, it's a bit longer than a quote, but it's helped me in a lot of situations, and it pretty much goes along the lines of something like this. It says, I'm not saying school is evil and there's nothing to gain. All I'm saying is understand your motives and reassess your aims. Because if you want a job working for someone else, then help yourself. But that's a contradiction because you wouldn't really be helping yourself, you'd be helping somebody else. There's a saying that goes, if you don't build your own dream, someone else will hire you to help build theirs. And that quote, all of that, it's helped me in so many situations. Like the thing is with this world, it's full of negative people. It's full of people that can't be asked. And these people that are negative and these people that are can't be asked, and these are also the people that leave negative comments on people's YouTube videos. All of these people are negative and they've got nothing to fulfill their lives. And those sorts of people will go out their way to make sure other people fail. What you've got to do is pry yourself away from these sort of people, understand your dreams, and just go at it, guys. Just go at it. And like generally these are some of my like favourite like all around life tips that I try and do myself. So like eye contact is major, having a firm handshake uh, is major, in a fight, hit first and hit hard. And another one which is really, really, really a contradiction me saying this, but avoid being sarcastic because there's really no point in being sarcastic. I'm sarcastic all the time. But it's just not something that needs to happen. And one thing that is absolutely golden is to make sure, as well as having a good time if you win at something, don't be a sore loser. Still, still, you know, be a good loser, if that makes sense. And the last one, don't expect life to be fair, because it's just not. Stormy George 24 says, hashtag Ask Mars, will you ever buy your own flat or place with your friends? Now, I'd love to do that, and it's not a thing that, you know, has gone unspoken. My friends have been like, oh, we should so totally move out and get like a massive pad. There's like four mates that would be, you know, that, that will be down for doing it. But yeah, uh, I would love, love to do it. It would be absolutely awesome. But thinking realistically, it's probably not going to happen, but it would be absolutely awesome. At Izzy underscore Franz says, at Mars by Gaming, do you think you will ever stop making YouTube videos? And well, that's the thing. Like, I will only ever stop making YouTube videos if you guys stop watching them. Like, there's no point in me doing this thing, this amazing thing, if you guys stop watching the video. So as long as you guys carry on watching and being awesome and all supportive, I'll carry on making these videos as much as I can. Right, that'll be it for this episode of q and I will now go home back to my hometown and leave my mother to put her awesome Christmas tree up, which is looking fairly swaggy right now. Oh no. just got back home and there's literally no one in the house and it's about nine o'clock so I don't know where the hell everyone is. Weather has just been absolutely goddamn awful but I'm gonna commence this evening by cleaning out this room because as you can tell if the lights come on there we go I've just got crap like literally everywhere I need to clean everything up so I'm gonna do that uh, tonight and just get all this this done I don't know if you guys have actually noticed the awesome outro music that's been at the end well of the last video I've had a few comments about it but you guys really need to listen to it because it's like some guy made it for us it's like our own Mars bar track anyway guys it would be awesome if you really leave a like rating on the video I would really really appreciate that but yes my name is like you guys have been awesome I'll see you in my next video adios the shot goes out the Mars Started from the bottom, now we counting out the stars Man, everything is ours when you living out your dreams Swear everybody recognize you, this ain't what it seems From the cars to the screens, Mars bar on the scene And we give it back to you, man, don't let them scar your wings Stay fly